Okay, so sticker in the mail. Dave D. <laughs> Dave G. Design. Uh, thanks, Dave. I'll get one out to you here pretty quick. And thanks for helping me with uh, Richard there. Could have sided with me a little bit. But uh, anyways, um, Dave's got a, a YouTube channel and Instagram also, so I'll put those in the comments down here below. And then, you know, also I'm going to put him up there anyways. Uh, it's the only sticker I got this week. There might be more, but I have a project I got to get going and get done because it was ordered. Or commission, is that what y'all call it? <laughs> so anyways, Dave, we're going to put you right oh, there. How's that? And then, uh, so I'm going to do a pen here on Tuesday. Uh, princess pen, actually. And hot pink. Lady that received the Valentine's bowl, the one with the hearts in the rim. I was looking around the pole barn site, and I built one for my granddaughter, and she says, I want one just like that. So, I don't know if she had that accent. <laughs> so, so I told her I'd build it. Well, I ordered the wrong blank and turned one, and I had to order another blank. But anyways, I need to get that done, and I need a video for Tuesday. So we'll get on that. Okay, so we have, oh, there we go. A hot pink crushed lava bright, Penn State Industries. And we also have a princess pen kit in chrome with the pink, the hot pink rhinestones in it. Uh, you know how this goes. You, you, you draw off your, your tubes and go from there. So you leave yourself a little bit of room on each side just in case and you have a little bit of extra just in case so anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these off in the bandsaw here and here we'll drill a hole the right size I need two different sizes remember what they are right off the top of my head here uh, we'll get the barrel sanded get them up get them set up on the lathe and get it turned hopefully real quick and then assemble it Okay, so we have a 10 millimeter tube for the top and the eight millimeter for the bottom. I like to put something underneath it to avoid any chip out. So I just drop that down in there and tighten her up. And then when we go through it, if we go a little bit lower here. Then uh, we don't get the, the chip out. And you know, I, I eyeball them. As you can mark center if you wanted to. All right, so this is just the end of a silicone tube, you know, yeah, for your caulk guns or caulk tube. They give you that, you cut it off, whatever. But uh, I like to use them for this because they're they don't stick to the CA, and then that way I don't have to worry about the CA glue getting in the tube. And then you just kind of go this route here, and I'm gonna leave it set to dry. This way it kind of runs out the bottom, and then. What I'll do is I'll take and stick it in the other side and we'll fill that up with a, a thin so that it's holding on to everything. All right, so I gotta find another one of those. I know I got them around here somewhere so I can do this one. <laughs> All right, so in the little clamp, you can do this by hand, but that does not feel good when this catches inside of there and goes around in circles in your hand. So I, I, I've learned to go this way, even though the other way is a tad faster. And you know we're only going until we see the shiny brass right here, which isn't very much. Uh, something like about that. Flip it over, do the other side, and change out the arbors and do the other one. Maybe I'll bump that side just a hair more. Something like that color. Okay, so the princess kit comes with her own set of bushings. You got one end for this guy here, or, and then your... Your smaller tube goes on this end. And you also have a bushing for that end. Carbide cutter on my 
Easy wood tools. And don't push too hard. Close enough. Hot pink crushed lava it is. Woohoo, now we get the sand. Oh, so you know how it goes. We're gonna go uh, probably 120, 220, 320, because I had some vibration in here. I'm not sure if I messed up my mandrel or not, but it's vibrating in the center. Even though it shouldn't be, it is. So I got some, some chatter in here I wanna get rid of. But we can sand most of it out. For the most part, we're down close. Like I got a little bit of lip, and I think it's that vibration in there. Cause I, I'm clean on one side and I got a lip on the other and the same thing here. So we'll sand it out. Okay, so a little bit of denatured alcohol. Clean it up. And I'll do this again when I get it on the nylon bushings if I can remember where I put them but for right now I just wanted to get the heavy stuff off <laughs> it's thundering out first thunderstorm of the year here in March <laughs> and again we'll clean them off make sure there's no no nothing's on there I've cleaned all the debris off of here and you guys aren't even looking in the middle all right so we got a piece of wood to sit here I'll we'll get set up for this and we'll put five coats of thin and five coats of I don't have medium, that's what you should use, so I'm going to use thick. And then we'll get it finished and get it assembled. Hopefully my camera stays where it's supposed to. So anyways, piece of tape on my finger, so I don't get glue all over it. I usually get it on this finger. <laughs> but five coats of thin on both of these, and then we'll go to the thick. Let that dry. So I probably didn't need to put a CA finish on these, 
Um, that's my preference to do that. I like how it looks better. I, we'll get to sanding. I won't make you watch them all. Pretty cool. All right, we'll get it put together. Oh, <clears throat> if you don't have this fancy dancy thing that I'm using to put these pins together, pen press or whatever, that right there up against that right there, just put a piece of wood in here, and you can use your tailstock to assemble your pins. I know I got a lot of pen turning junkies out there now. Pens are fun to do. <laughs> okay, here we go. I have, to have the, I have to have the destructions over here because I've been so long I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> but anywho, uh, what it says is to press in the upper assembly, this piece here, into the narrow end, narrow end first into the opening of the upper barrel. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to put it in that way. So we're going to put it in like so and maybe open this up a hair. Shazam! Just like so. Sweet, that's spring loaded. Check that out. Wing, wing, wing. <laughs> All right, now center band, which is this guy here, goes into there like so. Ow, pinched my finger in there. Like so. And, and she pretty all rhinestoned up and everything. <laughs> okay, now. I thought these were nibs. <laughs> so tip into so like so. And I need one more of these out of my way. Alright, so that's a not a bad finish there. Now it says to press the coupler, that one there, into that end like so. I might need a little more space now. Stay in there, would you? All right, we'll do it that way. Ta-da! Oh, let's give it a little more. I like that. That's a little better. It, well, then, I don't really like to take these off. I like to leave them on when I ship them, but that is not going to stick through there. But <laughs> uh, that end up. And this end in here. Screw that end then down there. And then, okay. So it doesn't want to work right now. <laughs> Why do I not want it to work? Oh, because I'm turning the whole thing. <laughs> instead of just the, instead of just that part. All right. And then these just slip on like, it just goes right in there like so. There you got it. Ta da. All right. Okay, so uh, there you have it. Let's get it over here in frame. So if you like it, go ahead and hit the like button. This is my project for my Tuesday edition. And of course, we got Dave G up there, Dave G Designs. Um, I'll like I said, I'll put those links in the bottom and in the top. If you like this, go ahead and hit that like button. And, you know, if you don't like it, go ahead and hit the don't like button. I haven't done a pen in a long time. Uh, they are fun to do and they, they tend to be addicting. For the most part, it's a nice pen. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to cut it short because my dinner's in the house. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all on Friday. <laughs>